looking at me like that? I just hatched. And this is my mummy. I'm an alligator and I'm going to tell you curious people what it was like for me when I was in the egg. What's that? You think nothing happens inside the egg and it's only dark in there? That's not true. The inside of the egg is the whole world when it's all you know. The egg shell seems like the globe and I'm inside it. From inside my egg, I could peek at oceans, forests, rivers and every kind of landscape that can be found on Earth. All the places around the world where crocodiles live. How is this possible? Well, you just dive in and emerge from the water anywhere in the world. Look! Now we've emerged in Australia. This is the place where some of the biggest crocodiles in the world live, but they also live in other parts of the world too. These are called saltwater crocodiles and they live in estuaries. Other kinds of crocodiles live here as well. They are called Johnston's crocodiles and they live in freshwater. Everyone's afraid of crocodiles. Do you want to know why? Yes, that's right. We have strong teeth and we use them to tear our food apart. But we only use our teeth when we are hungry or when we feel threatened. We are often hungry for long periods of time, but we almost never seem to be afraid. Some animals think we are a lot of fun and want to play with us. And hot. You shouldn't play with us. Our mouths are full of teeth and we have a very strong bite. Those who get too close to our mouths won't have much fun. Sometimes the crocodile looks like he's sleeping but he's always watching carefully. move at incredibly fast speeds at any moment and catch you if you are unaware. You think I'm only showing off? Well, then try to put your arm inside a crocodile's mouth. You'll see. Crocodiles like mostly to be in the water. In the water, we quietly watch our surroundings while remaining unseen. But when someone discovers us, we'll move to another area. And if someone dares to bother us, we usually scare them away. Sometimes, when we meet other moody crocodiles, we'd rather just back away. But crocodiles are usually only in a bad mood if someone is bothering them. If you see a grumpy crocodile, the best thing to do is walk away. It must be time for him to look for some food. You say crocodiles are evil? We're really not. We eat everyone because we're on top of the food chain. Plus, since we're carnivores, we prefer to eat the meat of animals. If I had been hatched a zebra, I would eat grass. But if a crocodile tried to eat grass, he would get very sick. Yes, I know that zebras don't actually hatch from eggs. I was just kidding. But I'll show you some zebras a bit later. You'll see. So the crocodile must eat what he's supposed to eat. I saw the whole world in my egg and there are many other animals who also eat meat. Then there are many animals who eat plants as well. Yuck, plants. I don't like them at all.
when they're little, crocodiles are not dangerous at all. They must be extra careful so no one steps on them. Fortunately, their mummy takes care of them until they grow a little bigger. Look how tiny this one is. It'll take a long time before he grows up like me. Wow, look at them fight. Maybe they're fighting over food. From the inside of my egg, I see many interesting things and creatures in the world. I was also thinking about how we're all a part of this big world. But from inside my egg, I wasn't sure I was even a part of the whole world. Why are you laughing? Are you saying I think too much about myself? I've learned that in nature, everything is connected. All creatures are connected to each other. As if we're all part of one whole. In addition to crocodiles, there are also other types of reptiles in the world. All reptiles have scales on their bodies. Most of them are hatched from eggs and eat meat, just like me. Reptiles live almost everywhere. They don't, however, like places covered by snow and ice. Reptiles can't keep up a constant body temperature for very long. That's why we love to sunbathe. We are not able to create warmth out of energy from food the way other animals do. So we must warm up under the rays of the sun. And that's why we don't need as much food as you. I know, I know. I said before that we were always hungry, didn't I? Well, maybe I just said that so you'll all be afraid of crocodiles. It's hard to tell if a crocodile's hungry. He won't tell you. Well, I think we've spent enough time in Australia. Let me show you a crocodile from somewhere else. You say I promise to talk more about zebras? Well, don't worry, we'll see them as well. They live in Africa, like that crocodile. Dive in and let's go to Africa. Here we are, hooray! We've emerged and look, there's a Nile crocodile. Wow, there are so many animals here. Everyone wants to cross the river, but that's where the crocodiles swim. Crocodiles in Africa generally live by the river. Places further inland could become much too hot and dry. They sit on the riverbank, and if they're hungry, they slide into the river in search of food. Did you know that we can't actually chew? Our huge jaws can't move from side to side, so everything we catch we must swallow in one piece. Crocodiles usually don't dare to hunt hippos. Hippos don't care much for the crocodiles, but they're not afraid of them. Well, I know I said everyone's afraid of us, but... Oh, let's just say nearly everyone. Like the zebra here. See, I wasn't just inventing her, she's here. It's not only the zebra who's afraid, even the wildebeest are afraid of us. 
Well, we are one of the strongest animals in the river. Crocodiles can stay still for very long periods of time. That's why it can be so hard to spot us. For a successful hunt, it is very important to be inconspicuous. It might surprise you to know that crocodiles like to play and we can be quite friendly to each other. But wildebeest don't think we're that friendly. They want to be as far away from us as possible. I think it's time to go home. And we're back home now. Ah, you don't know where this is? You're asking where the alligators live? Oh, didn't I tell you? Silly me, well, we live in America. Oh, and in China as well. I've seen it in my egg. We don't have time to go there today. I don't really want to travel in my egg anymore. I've already hatched so I can walk and swim on my own now. In my egg, I learned everything about the world. Now I want to see it all for myself. Hmm, but which way leads into the world? Ah, here, through the water. So, Goodbye, and don't forget your friends, the crocodiles.